Okay, so good morning and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ. We're out on the boat again. Um, today I'm out with a good friend of mine, Steve Homewood, who is the mullet, mullet guru. We're not catching mullet today. No, but, and, and incidentally, he still hasn't caught me a mullet, <laughs> <laughs> but we are working on it. Um, uh, we're out just off the uh, west arm of, of New Haven. Uh, and we're trying to catch some mackerel because we're what what we intend to do today is we intend to go live baiting for bass. That is the plan, and it all hinges on catching ourselves some mackerel. So I've got got him working hard, pumping the, the mackerel feathers, um, but he's not getting any. So I might have to set another rod up and show him how it's done. Um. <laughs> you need my magic feathers. You do. Oh, you have, where's your secret weapon? Oh, God, I'll show you that one. Uh, oh, <laughs> that sounds like something I don't know if I really want to know about. No, it's good. It works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so lovely day. Sea is. It's not mirror, but it's pretty calm. Um, weather forecast today is very, very strange. It's been getting good, it's been getting bad, it's been getting good, it's been getting bad. There is some thunderstorms coming, I think. So, um, you know, we just keep an eye open for that. Don't really like to be sitting out here in a thunderstorm, but uh, it has happened. Um, yeah, so anyway, no more ado. I better get some macro on and show Steve how to do it. We didn't get any mackerel, so we're steaming up now towards Beachy Head. We're keeping an eye open for any golds working on the way up there. But um, I think we'll probably find on the open falls at Beachy Head, we'll find some mackerel there. Uh, but it's, uh, the sea is not flat calm, but it's not bad. We're steaming along about 22 knots. So yeah, still very optimistic. And regarding the mullet, we will catch one. The next episode of How Do You Catch Bloody Mullet will show us catching a mullet. I know that because I'm not gonna bloody release it until I catch a mullet. We're getting close to the beach head lighthouse now. See it over there. And in the, the direction of light from this direction, you can't really see the colors, but it's a nice red and white. see very often this close in the beachy head normally fish further out which hopefully is where we're going to go once we've got the bait but uh, water's well coloured here isn't it yeah they're still there still there right so we're in the mackerel at long last get a few more mackerel on the boat oh big oh. One nice one, one bit big. Put a nice one into the bucket first. Let's get that all Mm-hmm. Right. Right, I feel like get some more, get some more. Where's my rod? Why not why not I getting any? Yeah. Going out fairly slowly, we're not gonna, not, not gonna belt it out there. It's just a little bit choppy. Not bad, not bad at all, but uh, taking it easy, have a nice relaxed day. Lovely view behind. Right, yeah, and view and see the view behind, look at that. Beautiful. It's almost like a sunset, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Coming around to your side of the boat. There you go, you should get it now. It's probably the only thing I've catched today. <laughs> no, you caught some mackerel. Oh yeah, sorry. There we go. Yeah. So today's not been a blank. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're uh, out on the wreck and we're fishing with live baits. 
it is slack water, so we are hardly drifting. So we're literally sitting on top of the wreck at the moment. Live mackerel on. Um, waiting for that bite. little bit of drift and I think the only thing that's causing this little bit of drift is the tiniest breath of wind you know how windy it was when we were in under beachy head it was whistling but out here it's absolutely calm so our resident former coming out sitting behind us so he's got confidence we're going to catch something um, feeding the lead dragging across the wreckage there It's all the makings of a great day. Just need to catch some fish. Oh, I think that was the lead just bouncing the wreck. Come up off that a little bit. Bass don't tend to feed very well on slack water. Q, Q of seabirds waiting behind us. We've got a former and two what look like common goals behind that. The former's at the front of the queue because they're, 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 they're quite aggressive and stroppy. I'd chuck you some fish, mate, but we haven't got enough to throw away at the moment. Quite a few jellyfish coming through here at the moment. That's quite a small one, but it's a compass jellyfish. You know it's a compass jellyfish because it's got what looks like a compass rose on its top. So it's spin over there in the little bit of wake off the boat. You can see some quite big ones. I don't know if they sting or not. Not a blank. Got myself a nice little cuttlefish. And it's weird because I, I, they are good. Uh, the scad, they do like scad for a reason. What I don't want it is it pulling me into his beak. Horrible. <laughs> Because would, they would bite you, I would think. Yeah. Look, as I said. Oh yeah, would you look at that? So scared, and they go on the back of the fish, and they bite the back of the head out. Yeah. So. <laughs> you go, you twat! That was mine. I was next. <laughs> Yeah, but really, they, like, they, they tend to go for the scab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to mind your legs at the Yep. Put this over the top of the net. Remember, it's over the top of the net if you need to get the net out. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so, so he goes through all sorts of trials and tribulations on, on signing this group. But they take him out on a boat fishing. Oh. <laughs> he's just another fucking... Oh, he's fucking inked the fucking oh. tank up. I can't see fuck all. <laughs> Can you drain it? And yeah, I'll drain it and refill it. So they take him out fishing and, and they, he has the, brief, the briefing, you can't talk about those animals, you can't wear green at sea, mustn't take a banana out with you, um, yeah, it's funny. And then he, he, they, he shoots a flare gun up in the air and it kills a seagull and he goes, oh no, he's killed a seagull, we're all doomed. Yeah, nice light, oh look at that, nice little joey. All the birds took off at once. They didn't like the cutlerfish in it. They've got two left, 
<laughs> but they, 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 they've got albums of music and, and the music is great. If you like that sort of sea shanty stuff, it's really good. And they go, what do you in the back? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's good, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it's on Netflix now. I, I, I had to pay for it, I think, when I watched it. But... Which I'll tell you what, then. Make him sleep with the captain's daughter. Make him sleep with the captain's daughter. Make him sleep with the captain's daughter. Have you seen the captain's daughter? <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 a very very good worthwhile film to watch. as well yeah true so that cuttlefish cutting the strips would be very good for bream oh yeah, yeah. that was a hell of a bike so i've got a, i've got quite a big um, flasher on the bottom of this so it could be on that still going i think it's probably scared whoa Every so often it's going. Yeah. Or a big one. They do fight well, Scad. I mean, the fact it's fighting all the way up means to me it's not a pollock, because pollock tend to um, swim bladder out by now and they just float up. What do we got? Oh, that's a pollock. <laughs> Hush my mouth, it was a pollock. There you go. So, so you're fishing with the right lure for a pollock, so. Very nice. You want that, dear? Hmm? Do you want to? Do you want to eat it? Yeah, if you're going to let it go. No, no. It's going back. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to have blown its swim bladder out, so it would go back. But yeah. Pollock on the mackerel feathers. Now we think he's got a big one. No, it's on. No. This is the third conga, and I think this is it's a big, the big one. one. Certainly, the bite was amazing. I'm going to move this rod out, out of the way. Oh, that was still right. right. Yeah. Clearing it as being that big, actually, it's, it is coming up. The big ones are just holding the water. But I haven't seen the boat yet. Oh, there it is, it's got colour. Yeah. Don't know, maybe the same size as the second first one. in the bait bucket, the black uh, fish bucket. Well, theoretically it might be a bit easier with one hook. 
it'll be, yeah, it'll be easy to get everything get the cleaning. Yeah. Got a big one, but still. <laughs> Very good. It's still big enough to make a mess of your finger, don't forget. <laughs> You wouldn't want it as a pimple on the end of your winkle, that's for sure. No, that's for sure. <laughs> well done. You see, we get the release. Yep. Catch and release. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> oh. oh, look at that all going as well. Well, one problem with two rods. Or two problems and one fisherman. We've got a big conger on here, I think, or a reasonable size. And looks like a bream. On the other one. Well, it's been a fantastic day already. Plenty of action. We're on our third wreck. And uh, I've had four eels. You've had some bream. Uh, We're both very happy. I've got yeah, colour down here. You see, we've got water? two pollock. As oh well. yeah, pollock as well. That might be a little bit big now, I think. It's still only, it's only, only small. But... Well, that's what he calls a small one. Where's the big one? <laughs> Where's the T-bar on? T-bar? Well, it was last seen in the black pocket. Yeah, it was last seen. Okay. Oh, here Declaring another record bream. So sometimes bream do dress up as pelt whiting. No, that's a bream. That's a nice bream. Yeah. That is a nice bream. You cannot debate that. Look at that view. How dark it is. Wow. Wow. That, one. that is a pleasing bream. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than Look the other. That. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that's over a pound and a half. For a colourful goldfish. Oh, it actually might be a tub. No, yeah, it's a tub, I think. It's got a blue, blue, blue rings around the, around the fins. A very beautiful little yeah. pressure with them. Gently release them. Yeah, yeah, no, and they're, they're, they, as I say, the big ones are nice to eat. They almost taste like the corn. I mean, they're obviously a bottom feeding fish because then you see the, the shape of them and everything. No, it's red, isn't it? It is a red. Beautiful golden yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah. But it's amazing sometimes you get them on lures and they follow the lure a long way up. Lifted the anchor now because we're on slack water uh, and we were starting to drift around on the anchor warp a little bit and they've taken us back over the wreck and um, we're just drifting around on top of the wreck. Steve's gone down straight into the fish. Literally hit the bottom, bash fish. Um, are we declaring it as another record breed? No, we're declaring it as a miserable pout. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pout. Is it, is it spinning on its way up? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. However. Pouting, pouting is a fish. Fish is a pouting, we're fishing. Oh, that's yeah, not a bad pouting. Yep. Uh, another lovely day out on the sea. And here's Jason coming out of his cupboard. Hey. Yay! Right, well, we're on our way out. Me and Jason.
Jason. And we're heading to the, the same top secret wreck that we went to, I went to yesterday. You, you want to see it earlier in the video. Uh, but today, let's see, it's a glass off. Look at that. Unbelievable. I mean, it got a bit like this towards the, the, the end of the day yesterday, but not quite as good as this. in the mackerel fibers uh, picked up a couple of mackerel already so we've got a couple of baits so we can go and drop the anchor and then whilst we're waiting for something bigger to come along we can carry on pumping some mackerel fibers put some small baits down we'll pick up some little power in no doubt and uh, right yeah right it gives that then see that all them Right, I need to get into this area because this is where I work my magic. tide because they're looking at where all the wreckage is with regard to a sandbank but we'll give it a go he might find we get some smoothies off here so or turbot even or no, rays have you, have you eaten turbot? yeah lovely so what we're trying to do is position ourselves up tide of the wreck so that we're fishing up tide of the wreck so so the, the fish are drawn out. Yep. And so we're not getting dragged into the wreck. We're getting losing tackle in the wreck. Oh yeah, no, I don't know. that we've we put the boy onto a peg yeah um, the boy's got a metal ring attached to the anchor rope by a metal ring we then got a dog rope that we pulled the anchor to the front of the boat so the boat will swing around and be facing the right way into the tide okay. yeah we're about 100 meters up from the wreck so the wreck's 100 meters behind us back the way so we might want to drop back a little bit see how it settles yeah remember when we're in 120 feet of water, 100, no, 30 meters of water. Lines are going to go down at an angle, so we're actually going to be sort of half in that distance. Maybe let it out a little bit more. Do my rod so you can see me do it, and yeah. then um, that's a single 80 stainless steel. Oh, shag nasty, I think. Yeah, um, I think I've got a tenno made up for you, so okay. Yeah. I actually made my own. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. okay. Do you want me to use them? Or? Yeah, if you've got them, yeah, I'll yeah, grab well. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather you lose your tackle than lose mine. <laughs> <laughs> And stuff. I've got knives on the boat, but they're all a bit past their sell by date now. Right. Simple 
running ledger. Yeah. Bigger, 150 yeah. pound yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. So I might record this as well. Just a flapper. Right, so the bait we're using today uh, is mackerel. Fla mackerel flapper. Uh, Chris is just flat yeah, traction. Yeah, and then so just put, put the big hook up underneath there. And there's a nice flapper bait. It looks like an absolutely brilliant bait. And it's still twitching. Right, yeah, there's no, there's no, not a great deal of finesse in conger eel fishing. Right. I'm afraid. Um, no, here, look. These, these are the sort of swivels you want to use. I think my swivels are used the two swivels. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll. I'll You've got a running ledger, haven't you? Run it a running bead or something like that. Oh, I've got two. I've got two other ones here. Wait, Wait you, you're better off having something that gives it a bit of a keel so that it doesn't twist around itself when it's going down. Right. And I don't know if I've got any more of those. I just have that to find. That one's alright. It's got big swivels on it. Yeah, that's better. Probably. Yeah. Is that yeah, wire that one, on it? Yeah, it's got wire on it as well. Yeah. Right. Let me just. Uh, so, are you going to tie this off to the end of here, or what are you doing? So. Um, yeah, I'll tie it off. And let's cut this. This is a little bit frayed. This last bit. Yeah, much better. Anyway, we're close enough to the wreck that that will work. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Now, because you've you've only got a running bead like that. Yep. As you let this out, you've got to let it out really slowly. Okay. Because otherwise, this will just get lined up around the line, and then your the fish will be fishing up here, and you won't catch right. anything. Down in exactly the same, yeah, exactly the same way, but um, back again, obviously yeah. on a much bigger scale. So, all right, yeah, I got it. Yeah, but slow that, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, yeah, yeah, yeah. or let it down, stop, and then let the thing drift back in, and then let it down, and stop, and then let yeah. it drift down. Because what will happen, it'll go down, and the mackerel will then do that, and yeah. it'll just round and round around your line. Okay. So, just let it under control, and that's it, that's good. Yeah. That's right, mate. When it hits the bottom, do I leave it on the bottom? Uh, when it gets to the bottom, yeah. pick it up and donk it on the bottom again. Let out a little bit more line, pick it up, donk it on the bottom until you're sure it's hard on the bottom. Right. Yeah. When you, when you go bump and it hits the bottom, bump each time, you know you're there, yeah? Yeah. And then and then you put the rod down. Now be, be aware that they, they were nearly pulling the rods over the side of the boat yesterday. So, I mean, the rod, each bite I got, the rod was over like that wow. on the bite. So, um, yeah, just be alive to that. I think you might put this over. Right, so I'll let out a bit of line. Well, right. what I'd do is, is, is get it, yep. like that. Yep. Just go, bump. Yeah, there's the bottom. Yep. Because you've got quite a heavy weight on it. Bump, yeah, so that's it. So you don't need to let any more line right. out. Because if you let... Will automatically take line out now? Sorry? If, if the fish takes... No, no. It won't? You don't want it to take line. Right, okay. You, what you don't want is you don't want the conger wheel back in into the wreck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? So, so you've got to keep an eye on it, because yeah. it will it will do that when it bites. Okay. Now, conger eel bite, classic conger eel bite. You get a tap, tap, tap. Yeah, and then the lunge. Now it can go on for five, ten minutes. Tap, 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 and then and then it will. Or you just get tap, 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 and then nothing. So you wind it in and it's on. Oh right. So, so, but the classic is a tap, 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 tap bite yeah, yeah. yesterday i didn't notice well i did see some tap 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 bites but quite a long time after so i got the fucking huge great lunges genuinely i was doing something else and out the corner of my eye i see my rod going brruh, brruh. <laughs> Oh, that's a tap. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's a conger bite. Yeah. It's, the other course, you get pouting, ragging at the back of them as well, so it could just be pouting. Yeah. But that could be pouting. 
bore a very small eel. There's something fucking ragging at that now. Yeah. Is it Sean? He's on onto a fish. Well, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Hopefully, I'll take it again and we can edit it out. Oh, it's really, really fucking, it's fucking keen to have that fucking fish, isn't it? Yeah. Again, oh. Toby Toke. He's taking a whole lot. And that was our only mackerel. <laughs> uh. That is good. We got some mackerel. I got some mackerel there. Oh, Okay. Got a baby squid as well, and I haven't, I've got uh, more crabs. So we got enough crabs. That life's a shitty, is it right? It's frozen still, so it doesn't matter because it'll go down in one piece. And... Wheel into it and lift. Don't you fucking dare. That was a nice size tote, that as well. Yeah, it was nice. Beautiful blue eyes, isn't it? Yeah. You're crunching. Grr, 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 grr. Yeah, I'll go. Whew, and away he goes. Getting, getting a few little knocks in, and then oh, little, little taps. Just let that develop. Another Bernard the Gernard. There you go. Action go back. Boom! And away he goes. I'm having for dinner tonight. <laughs> You're coming home for dinner. I'm going to get the cam sun the other way. Tell you what, you, why don't you use this one? Well, I'm going to tackle him one up. You tackle this. You put, just put yeah, some sure. back. Do you want to use yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to put an upside okay. rod on and put a crab on. Okay. Yeah. Tackle up another rod. Oh. Already, already. This has got level wind on it as well, so it makes it a bit easier. Yeah. So get some worm on here. Yeah. All I'm doing is I'm letting the feathers down at the bottom and I'm just holding them there and every so often give them a pump. Okay. And then make sure they're on the bottom. Yeah. Into the first decent fish of the day. Wow. That feels real good, man. <laughs> See, I, 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 I'm wondering if that's come on the G. Yeah, I think it might be on the bottom. But, but it might be on the little hooks, so if it's on the little hooks, don't bully it because it will pull out. Okay. Well, that's good. You're huffing and puffing, it's a tiddler. <laughs> I think compared to what you get on the beach. Yes, fit. Oh, colour. Oh, Ooh, that looks like a nice fish. In fact, it looks like a net worthy fish. Could be a tope again. It will be a tope. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, it is a tote. Yeah, nice big tote. Yeah, no, not yet. No, 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 no. In there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, well, just jigging for mackerel. And we land a nice tote. That's on a slow jig on the on bottom. Slow jig. Oh, wow. Oh, man, buzzing now. <laughs> Woo! That was good fun on the right, Rod. Oh, wow. So on a slow jig. Decent fish around the slow jig. Wow.
Men jeg har den. Ja, ja, den får jeg ned med, og jeg tager lige ud af fingret op. Du er ikke en sådan sjov, kan man, kan man yeah. tage bare det? Nice taupe. Absolutely beautiful fish. I'm gonna weigh that. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. lovely. Can I film it? Here we are. Jason. And I think Jason is into his first conger eel. That'd be awesome. <sighs> I'm not really surprised if he's bringing mine up as well, actually. Mine looks a bit slack. See the bait. Yeah, you brought mine, you've got mine on there as well. Yeah. I don't think you have got one. <laughs> it looks like you've got a pout in. <laughs> yeah, you've got a pout in. Oh, wow, I've got a conga pout. Yeah, yeah, it lying, but it felt like you had an eel on it, which makes me wonder if I've got one on. It does. There's one of us have one on. Well, this has got some more bait. Nice little balance. Unusual colours, very light. Very light colours. Let's see, uh, get him back now. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's waking up and away he goes. Right, well, we, we fished um, the wreck that I fished yesterday, both sides of the tide. Uh, interestingly enough, the, the side of the tide we didn't fish yesterday was fishing quite well. We were, we were getting towed from it and what have you, so it'd be well worth a visit back. Um, didn't, didn't catch the eels I was expecting, but you know, maybe we had them all yesterday, who knows. Uh, we're going to steam now to the Old Faithful, um, where we normally finish the day. I mean, it's an amazing glass off, I mean, a day in a million, you know, you don't see that days like this very often. Um, so, fantastic. Jason, you have a good time? Absolutely brilliant, mate. Yeah? I'm really happy. You've had your PBs of uh, brass. PB and brass. Uh, sorry, toad and brass PBs. Yeah. Mackerel PB as well. Yeah, wow. Well, Good and Right, and probably pouting PB. The pouting, definitely pouting PB, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they do tend to be bigger when you're out of sea, but um, yeah. No, it's been good. It's been good. It's been, it, it got a little bit quiet in the afternoon, not to be truthful, but. Um, Certainly, we had, we had a couple of sessions when it was going quite crazy. I mean, we're getting some nice rest, so, uh, yeah. Very good day. Let's go and see if we can't break break the, the, the myth of the bass, and the bass aren't feeding and get ourselves a nice bass now. Yeah. Well, I've got a nice green for me too, I forgot about that. So. He's actually going to leave me. I 
been really, really good fun. I've had a really great time. And uh, lots of firsts. Yeah. And EVs we made, so yeah. And I had a swim. <laughs> so yeah, you had a swim. <laughs> that was good. I'm still wet. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. It caught me off lovely. Now we've got the hard bit to get in the bloody boat in. But, uh, tidying up and cleaning up and I'm meant to be at home about 10 minutes ago so um, I'm a drop. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, it's my fault, sorry. Yeah. Oh good, I've got that on video. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, keep, keep tuned into the channel, uh, we'll be doing loads of other stuff. Um, I've got episode 3 of the uh, buy your first rig kit, your beach rig, uh, when we're going to go down to the beach with uh, Glenn from uh, the Angler's Den. And, we, and Max is going to try out a combination. So, and as I said, I'm in trouble. There's my phone ringing to say, Where are you? So, anyway, let's go.